Hello Pisces, congratulations. You're the winners of the Thunderdome. Of course something pops right up on the phone when I get started. Okay, anyway, despite distractions, we're gonna look at you and your other person. So this will be Thunderdome, be two of you. I'm wondering if we'll go off the last one. So I guess we'll get to see. Some of them from the past come into the present, or maybe even taken to the future, like a reference of sorts. Hmm. Could be someone from your past trying to come back in. Who knows, really. Okay. No wins. Alright, group one, we start with you. Queen of Swords. Three of Cups traverse. The Alien and the Fears and Rejections. Four of Swords reverse in the situation. Obstacles and challenges coming against you. Is the Strength card reverse? Mind you, this is Wants and Wishes with the Three of Cups reverse. My bad. And the Queen of Wands reverse in the Catalyst as well as the final result. With the beginning theme being Seven of Pentacles, you're trying to plant a flower in a desert and see if anything came out. Put in investment. So now we're going to see how it came out. Excuse me. Mm. I don't think group one, it came out the way you were thinking. What did I say about the Eight of Pentacles? Everybody was having Eight of Pentacles in their reading somewhere in June. <clears throat> Let's see. So group one, Queen of Swords. Not, I almost said Queen of Pentacles, but this is Queen of Swords. Um, being grounded and decisive in your decision making. Trying to come to wise, logical, practical choices. Not really basing anything on emotions. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, yeah, you're trying to possibly end all this fighting that's going on around you. Like, either that or everyone just being extra petty. With the Four of Swords, where someone doesn't want to think about something or they can't concentrate or whatever. Um... The lack of movement. Group one, it seems like nothing's going in your favor. Or if it were... It's like you're dealing with a bunch of people who only get joy in squabbling with each other. And the more you try to... Um, Avoid dealing with this, the less actions taken. It's like. It's like everyone's petty, everyone's dramatic, everyone is starting shit with each other instead of focusing on the goals, and you're trying to be the one person who is not in it. <clears throat> okay, three of cups right here. Sometimes talks about third party situation, maybe leading to a breakup since it's reversed. Um. I don't know, lately it's like, you know, it might be these people who keep, like, shit whack. And it's starting to be like, they're losing options on what to do. Because none of their other stuff's working. Like, they came together to do something, and instead of something working, I don't think it did. And it's causing everyone to kind of, like, separate. You know, like, now they kind of squabble between each other. It's seen over here and you're the only one with the brains to be like maybe I should stay out of this. <clears throat> maybe I shouldn't be involved <laughs> all right strength reverse could be a Leo right here this is the obstacle and challenge okay you want these people to just lose whatever abilities it is when it comes to all the squabbling right you want to lose their motivation your challenge is the restriction. I think of being like them. 
like you're trying to hold yourself back from being like these people like you don't want to be like these people because you know it'll probably bring your image down or make you broke if you deal with these people one of the two they're definitely bad for you I feel like the alien and the fears and rejections is like you're going introspect. It's like you're looking on the inside. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be with the strength card right here too. Um, someone's being very, very petty, bitchy, worried too much about their image, lying about things. Total bitch mode with Queen of Wands reversed, right? But And she's also down here. There's, like, the fear is, like, going to introspect and, like, either, either seeing this is who you've become or seeing that somebody for what they are. One of the two. Now we got this Queen of Wands down here. Once again, she's just total bitch mode. And she's got a posse now. Before she was alone now she's got a bunch of people behind her and none of them like are nice at least not possibly to you unless this is you but she has a very powerful offer here e. what's the ending thing it's like someone realizes this person is negative but their negativity is like overlooked because like they got opportunities with money and shit um traumatic events that ended in betrayal someone decided to sever things they just did it in a really mean way you know maybe that's why the offer is backed by a dragon mm. ending theme is six of pentacles Somebody invested in something that led them to be like they're the ones begging for this opportunity with this um, Ace of Pentacles. Or that person's making the offer to them. Ew. That is kind of eerie. Hmm. This is a really odd group one. Like, I don't know what to make of this. It's like they're dealing with, like, okay, this fire sign right here. It's almost like someone realizes that this person's not only broke, but there's something wrong with them. And it's like they had to go in, they're afraid to go inside to see if this person, it probably isn't the best because, like, you know, this is a pretty powerful offer here. But look at the position that you're trying to attain this offer from. It's like, still, lead, like, it's a powerful offer. But it's like, the person who's giving it to you withholds so much more. Leaves you feeling broke. It's like the investment turned into like, a uh, Servitude? No, 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 not servitude. Um... Dependency. It's like someone became an investor and then all of a sudden is like using that to hold somebody hostage. It's like a loan shark almost, right? Could be Libra involved here too. Oh. Yeah, all these people are like playing games and it's just, it's not going anywhere. Productive, of course. That's how it goes. They're all just sticking... They, they don't even care that they fuck each other up. They don't care that they might be causing, like, traumatic series of events or doing some stuff that's really messed up from the past. I 
But someone's coming out of illusions with this. Pisces or Cancer. So it could be you, Pisces, that might be uh, trying to come out of all of this as unscathed as possible. Because I feel like... Mm, I feel like the whole thing with this Queen of Wands right here is like... Something wasn't right here. Like something was missing. I don't know. I was like... I was like... She feels like she was above somebody else. And someone's afraid of that. Like... I was like... Someone looks down upon another person. I don't know. It's just a weird one. But uh, let's go on to group two. I'll see you in a second. Two seconds. Go. No. Okay, group two. Let's go on with y'all. See what the world has for ya. <laughs> It'd be funny if the world came out since I said that. Mm -hmm. I feel like your options are all shit. Like nothing's gonna work in your favor. I can understand that. Oh! Jesus. Okay. Okay. I feel like someone wants to end some battle and come together with another person. Probably on your side. Group one seems quite confused with what it is they're doing, I think. Someone needs to uh, kind of stop controlling a relationship that didn't work out. And quit stalking somebody. <laughs> I swear, like, someone's being a control freak and not being fair with how things turned out. And look at this. Now they're just sitting there watching as somebody else is just having a grand old time getting, like, Mario coins flung in their face like it's a Japanese hentai. Like, oh, it's all over, right? All weirded out because it's not started up yet. So let's see what's going on with you, group two. No whammies. Okay. We got nine of ones reverse. The best defense is a good offense, and you are throwing your wands at people's faces to make sure they stay out of your yard. King of Pentacles is your wants and wishes. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Nine of Cups and the Fears and Rejections. It's reversed as well. Yay. Uh, eight of Cups in the situation. Thinking about the past while well, you have a passionate future. Hard to let go of it. Oh! Obstacles and the challenges coming against you is the Seven of Cups reverse. Once again, those shitty, empty options, right? And then the Catalyst as well as the final result. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be you, Pisces, right here. Someone sees you as the beginning and the end. Beginning theme. Lack of clarity, lack of truth. Lack of knowing whatever. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not sure if like, group one's dealing with a psychopath or if they are the psychopath. But, yeah. I don't think they're the psychopath. I think they're just the person who's trying to get away from crazy right now. But I'm not sure yet. It seems like with you, you're having a hard time. Understanding letting go. 
Yeah, like you're being all defensive and aggressive and you're not even understanding why you're doing so almost. Like you're not even taking the time to think about what your actions are spurting out for you too. And then you got the situation with the Eight of Cups. Where you feel a lot of pressure on like having to let something go or whatever. Move on to the next thing. Like you want to do that and you want to be cool with it. Like, you rather just walk away and let this other person have a victory and let them go their own way with who they want to give whatever to, I think. Like, this person's kind of rejecting this person who has a victory. And they walk the other way to give their cup to somebody else. Or this could just be the same King of Cups. Or maybe this was the person who was the King of Cups counterpart who just walked away from this victory. Instead of giving her cup away. Then we got the King of Pentacles and the Wants and Wishes. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I would like to think more uh, Taurus side. Just because usually the King's duck lips pretty well. It's also got smoke coming out of his mouth. But who knows why. Um, looks good. Is good. Does stuff. Um, does stuff while looking good. Queen of Wands right here. See, she was in like, um... Group Wands, but it's like, with her, it just felt like, I don't know, like someone thought they were better than somebody else. Like, so much so that they were the ones making the offer. It was like the better offer. I guess? I don't know. I don't know what the Queen of Wands is there. It's like, he's supposed to be stable, but I guess she also represents um, how good she looks while she does it, too. Like, I'm the man and the woman of the house. I can do both, you know? Lots of stability in her background. You know, that'd almost be like mine. I'm not sure what it is. Seven of Cups Reverse is the, um... Obstacle and challenge that's going to be going against you. All these lack of options when it comes to being yourself or being secure or something to do with identity, but it's like you're afraid there's nothing that's going to lead you to your dream. Or what it is you set yourself out to be. Whereas your wants and wishes, you no longer not only want to be stable, you want to look nice while you do it. That's your whole thing. You just don't know how you're going to get yourself into the, even the beginning position of collecting enough pentacles for that. Now, the fear of rejection is the nine of cups reverse. It's just like you got your wish, but now you're bored of it and you want to stop guarding it as well like you're being kind of it's almost like you're in denial maybe that's what that lack of clarity is you need me to pause it okay yeah. then we got the king of cups right here cancer pisces scorpio start and end what brought this thing full circle no doubt um, very in tune with his own feelings, is able to validate emotions. He might be swift with sending a message of sorts to get things going. That's the start of it, and what's the end of it? Maybe somebody needs to get in tune with our emotions more in order to settle things out, I reckon. Ooh. Seven of Swords reverse, um... Risky behavior that did not come out according to plan has enabled this lack of clarity. Like, someone just doesn't see clearly how to get past it being too risky when it comes to this situation. I'm not sure. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it's almost like someone's, like, too worried about how they're going to come off.
they're trying to get in touch with their feelings one way or another. Like, they are trying to make new options or develop something. Like, the, the obstacle is, is, like, to deal with these options that feel like there's nothing that's going to lead them to wherever. So now they're trying to work on something that will lead them to whatever. If this won't take me to somewhere I need to be, I'll try something different. I like the uh, determination, though. So that's a good thing. Um, someone is scared to take a leap of faith in this situation. And that's probably why you feel like all the options are not good for you. And there's something about commitment here. Religious factors. Maybe even someone praying for something. I don't know, group two. But... That was y'all's reading. Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below as well as my PayPal. I don't charge, but I do take donations and tips. So I will see you guys later. Please take it easy and take care. Love you. Bye-bye.